I, the cognitive piece, I think, is one of the most unspoken parts of this disease. And it's so frustrating, especially for those of us that are working and you want to put your best foot forward. And it's almost embarrassing sometimes when you can't find the right word. I mean, you're, you're stopping in the middle of your tracks. It's so frustrating. What we recommend is um, oftentimes, especially if you're noticing these symptoms, is to, to get a referral for a neuropsychological evaluation. And what that's going to look at is areas of like problem solving, verbal functioning, memory, short term memory, um, visuospatial. There's a lot of domains that it looks at. We try to encourage patients in our office. We, we do this annually on every patient so we can start trending and seeing what areas are you having problems in? Does it corroborate with what you're saying? Is it the verbal functioning that you're having issues with? Is it the memory? And so when you get neuropsychological evaluation, that allows us to see what areas are actually impacted. And then you go through therapy with it, just like a physical therapy. It's the same thing for cognition. So it does exist. So don't be in, discouraged and you're doing what you're supposed to. You're challenging your brain, working on your second master's. Congratulations on that. Mm -hmm. Keep that up. But just know also not, you know, sleeping is an issue with cognition. Also, if you're not getting enough rest, that impacts that. And we also look at a mood. Is it depression? Is there a little bit of depression component to that? Maybe you don't even realize you don't want to admit to that. That plays a part in cognition. But neuropsychological evaluation is huge in getting the therapy through it. It actually does exist and it does help.